To the fate of the race, President Biden is pushing back on the growing calls for him to drop out. The president now in defense mode, working to calm concerns over his ability to run and win against former President Donald Trump. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live at the White House with more. Ben. Eden, Calvin, President Joe Biden made clear again that he's not going anywhere, but today the focus was on a top Parkinson specialist who visited the White House right here behind me several times. For security reasons, we cannot share names. Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre says she can't confirm why an expert on Parkinson's disease stopped by the White House. I understand. I get it. It's in the log. The log show eight times over an eight-month span between last July and March of this year did include one visit with President Joe Biden's personal physician. Has the president been treated for Parkinson's? No. Is he being treated for Parkinson's? No, he's not. Is he taking medication? For Parkinson's? No. So those are the things that I can give you full-blown answers on, but I'm not going to do, I'm not going to confirm a specialist, a, any specialist that comes to, come, comes to the White House out of privacy. It comes as Biden sent a letter to Democratic members of Congress reaffirming plans to stay in the 2024 race, despite growing calls for him to step down following the poor debate performance. What I saw in that debate is not reflective of the man and the leader and the commander in chief that I have spent many, many hours with over the last two and a half years. Biden wrote Monday, we have one job, and that is to beat Donald Trump. Any weakening of resolve or lack of clarity about the task ahead only helps Trump and hurts us. A message reiterated today during a phone interview on MSNBC. All the data shows that the, the average Democrat out there who voted, 14 million of them that voted for me, <laughs> still want me to be the nominee. And during that interview, Biden also called on his critics who are telling him to step aside to challenge him at the Democratic convention in 42 days. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News.